Hey Monsters, it's uh, Affiliate Dragoon here from Atomic Monsters. We got another haul video for you. Uh, we actually just got back from what I like to call BoomerCon. It's uh, the Chatham uh, Essex, no, is that right? Chatham Kent? Chatham Kent. Chatham Kent Toy Show, their 19th annual. Uh, it's out in the county in Chatham. And uh, I wasn't too sure going into it what to expect. There's a reason I call it BoomerCon. It's uh, run by all the local antiquing and the 4-H club and, and stuff like that. And uh, you look at when I looked at the pictures of the previous cons, there was just miles of toy tractors and trains and uh, uh, a lot of 50s and 60, uh, 60s and 70s toys. Uh, so I wasn't sure. I went to go on a scouting mission to see if it'd be worth having a booth next year. But it turns out there was some like some some stuff that would appeal to to us as well. There was a couple of booths set up and uh, I'm definitely going to think about getting a booth next year. And we had some really good finds that I wanted to share with everybody. Got some, some G.I. Joe in, including this uh, really nice looking ice snake. I'm not sure 100% where these go, but all the parts are there. And it's just missing the heat viper. Which is really sweet. I don't get to find a lot of G.I. Joe stuff uh, locally. Got a whole bunch of Transformers. One of the train brothers from Robots in Disguise, so he's missing an arm. And... Uh, an Optimus Prime. Cyberverse Alpha Trion. This I forget this this one's name. It's actually one of the Armada Energon Cybertron era remakes of one of the Viacon generals. There's Strika. Completely forgetting the other name, and I think this is the other one. We got a, a movie hound. Not sure who this is. I think this is, uh, judging by the symbol on it, I'm going to say Robots in Disguise, the, the second Robots in Disguise series. I forget. I'm not sure this character. Uh, I believe this is one of the build team. I believe this is Generation Sturge. I think one of the Generation Sturge. This is uh, Beast Wars. When they make made the there's a bunch of mutations where they were mixed animals. This is a s mixture of scorpion and fish, a barracuda, I think. I can't remember this guy's name. We got some Beast Wars stuff in there. It's a lot of it's in really good shape, so this is good. It actually looks really cool, including this this Optimus Primal. So I don't think this is the Beast Wars one. I actually think this is a Generations or um, I think this is a, tran a Transformers Universe version. We got a Generation One Sandstorm. Which is pretty sweet. Uh, this Megatron, which I think, I think this is Cyberverse Megatron.
Not sure who this is. Really cool. Like a, one of the Beast Wars Microverse sets. I think I'm missing a, a leg, but that's okay. Oh, good. It does have more parts than it looked like. Which is really cool. Actually, uh, I don't think I've ever seen one of these sets in person before, That's, so this is really neat. Really nice find. I actually got most of these, at, or all of these, at uh, one booth. Walked uh, right in the door and just walked down a couple of booths and boom, there's a, a guy who uh, was had, a, had uh, boxes and boxes of Transformers and stuff and I made him a deal on his box of Transformers, some of the stuff he had in a showcase, and uh, uh, some baggies of turtles and Ghostbusters and stuff. This is a Generation 1 Venom, who's in pretty minty shape. Sadly, no weapon, but that's great shape. sure what release this is. I know this mold, but it's been reused a lot. The double dealer, sadly missing his gun. And I don't think he has his power masterpiece. Let's find out. Break it. Yeah, he's missing his power master. For those who don't know, Double Dealer, he changes from a artillery piece from into a robot and into a really weird bird. G1 Bone Crusher. I always liked Bone Crusher. For his size and scale, he was actually a really, really cool design and probably, I think, the best of the uh, Constructicons. You can hang out with Prime. Some version, I'm thinking probably, some version of Wind Charger, I'm thinking this is probably a Cyberverse. I think this is that's probably Cyberverse Wind Charger. All the bots. Oh, like I said, more Beast Wars. his other foot. Robots in Disguise second series uh, long rack. Also a whole bunch of turtles. Some in good shape, some in less good shape. Some are parts pieces. You got a metal head, mostly vintage. Like this Gingus frog has seen better days. <laughs> K 
Dick Tracy figure. Pretty decent slash. One of the, uh, we have a Leo from the third movie who's in not great shape. Oh, more Transformers. I think the Transmetals 2 Rhinox. Funny in the show, Rhinox never actually got a Transmetal form. This Generations 2. I think he's actually complete. Yeah, good job. Ta -da. Don't find a lot of Generation 2 figures. Lots of more G.I. Joe. There's the uh, 25th anniversary bats. Animated Transformers animated waspinator his leg keeps falling off. The problem with ball joints. Though they're they're there to make sure your figure doesn't break. Uh, giving better posability and limbs popping out, but it also means you that they, they tend to fall off easy. I actually really like this this animated waspinator and I may actually keep him. Put him up there. Might even keep some company with my uh, my rat trap. Eee, waspinator. Nobody loves waspinator. Splinter. It is movie splinter. See? This is from one of the, I think this is one of the this is a later release splinter. I think there's no figures released for the first movie, so this might be from the second movie. 92. Huh. That's a pretty cool find. In fact, I think I might have parts for him, some of his uh, weapons. Another trench coat Donnie. I always felt weird it was Donnie who got the trench coat when it's usually Raph you see in the trench coat. Lots of turtles. Other Robots in Disguise second series character, I think. Actually, no, this might be from movie. This might be a movie character. This uh, Megatron is normally part of a two-pack. It comes with an Optimus Prime. It's based on his Generation 2 design. Uh, if you transform him, his arm turns into this pole arm, plus his, his, it, uh, his, his gun, plus this. It's one long pole arm. It spins when you press the button. More turtles. That's a newer one. Some cops. Cops and crooks. This is pretty cool. He's in really good shape. The last time I found a cop's figure, it was actually with the, the helicopter, but the figure was snapped, so I had to replace his O-ring. That was 
This guy's in really good shape. A little bit of rust. I may replace that screw. Or at least see if I can get the rust off of them. Thunder Punchy Man. This is a cool one because you can fill them full of caps. I'm going to have to clean that out. I know all the, uh, from all the caps that have been used in there. He's got a little damage to his head. Some Ghostbusters. This was actually a really nice bag. The ones with all the Ghostbusters in it. It's easier for you to see with the camera here. Yep. This guy, I'm not sure. LJN Telefix. Yeah, I'm not sure what line this is. He looks familiar, like I should know this, but I'm not sure. Couple air raiders and sky commanders. These are air raiders, and the bigger ones are sky commanders. I had a bunch of these uh, at our first yard sale, and they sold really quick. More Ghostbusters. These things are so cool. Where's the mechanism on this one? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Ghostbusters had an awesome toy line. A snake pops up. Get ourselves a nice low gray. Not to be confused with Earl Gray, which is a T. An R R5 unit that's seen better days. This, I'm not sure what it's from, but it's kind of neat. turns into kind of like his own cycle. I don't know, I kind of, it's pretty phallic. <laughs> like, it feels like this is be a Ghostbusters toy, but it isn't. So I'm not sure what it is. More Ghostbusters. Brave Star. With his gun. That's a show that they really should bring back. Brave Star was way ahead of its time. More Ghostbusters. Black Star. I think this is actually the one that goes with the sword I have. I might actually swap those around. Bionic 6. Its paint has all come off of him, unfortunately. That's one of the problems with the Bionic 6 line. Because they're all die-cast metal, uh, they don't hold paint very well. More Ghostbusters. That's a trap. Some more Star Wars. 
That's a Endor Rebel Trooper. Battle Armor He-Man. Or uh, Skeletor, that is. More turtles. This, I'm not sure what it is. Oh! This is D&D. Sweet. Dungeons and Dragons. This can actually go up there with my other Dungeons and Dragons figures. Oops. Or I can fling it across the room. Some uh, Captain Power, Lord Dread. That's really sweet. He's in good shape. That's nice. Digitize them. That's pretty cool. We got you a 2003 Leo. It has his belt. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's going to be an upgrade for you. Yep. I'll put him over there for you. This one, a uh, storage shell. Looks like it opens. Yep. That's, you don't usually find the uh, the '80s storage shells that actually still have the shell on. That's a that's pretty sweet. Terminator. We actually had another one of this figure. It actually um, sold at the. Uh, Windsor, uh, the Windsor Essex toy, sh uh, uh, toy show, remember? Yeah. The collector's con. Forget which way the latch goes on this. Anyways, this is supposed to open up. Oh, there we go. I think this latch is a little stuck. And, uh, some more Ghostbusters. I really like this one. <laughs> I think that's it. Oh. And a really, really bad beater, Luke. That's it. That was actually a great show. Um, yeah. I suggest anybody who's in the area, uh, definitely next year, check out the... Uh, Chatham Kent toy, sh toy Show. They'll be the 20th one next year, probably about this time, I think. And uh, we're going to try and get a booth at that one. There is lots of good old stuff like this. There's actually, we uh, missed out on getting a, a complete turtle van because um, we just didn't have the cash on us and I already bought it. Spent all of our cash and then some on stuff for the store. Uh, there was also a really, really cool uh, Technodrome. Uh, it's kind of a beater shell that had none of the accessories and it had a lot of sun damage to the plastic so it was really discolored but that's easy to fix just with some uh, retro brighting using some peroxide and sunlight and uh, they wanted twenty dollars for it and i wish they had the extra twenty dollars after buying all this <laughs> to buy it because they would have because after some cleaning it would have looked really nice over in the corner um we'll we'll be there next time oh there's also this guy who was doing these custom toys and sculptures using toys uh turning a lot of things into horror uh one of my favorites was the uh he took P old pillsbury doughboy uh the, the the rubber uh pillsbury doughboys from the the 60s and uh made a horror scene out of them it was really really cool what was the one you really liked? There was a Jason. Oh, there was. They repurposed old TVs, and the one TV was painted up and had um, severed heads on the floor, and then Jason with a machete. That was awesome. Yeah. Uh, there, there was some really cool thing. There was a poison ivy figure, uh, one of the the taller six-inch figures, 
that had been repurposed into some kind of uh, swamp monster with uh, uh, and they had to have been replaced with one of those old style diving helmets and uh, it looked really cool there's a whole bunch of figures they did stuff like that for that was fantastic and uh, if they're there next time they are certainly worth going to the show just to check them out that was honestly I think my favorite table um, but there's also lots of tractors and lots of trains lots and lots of tractors you took like pictures of all the random <laughs> tractors you saw didn't you yeah <laughs> like a ridiculous number of tractors um, but also there's like there's people testing out stuff like this new boost there and uh, I'm sure they'll be there the next year as well plus I will probably be there next year so uh, catch you all there and if you went there let me know say hey I was there and I'll go, oh, shoot, sorry I missed you. But uh, yeah, talk to you all later.